So I'm on day 61 of walking 10,000 steps a day. Here are some things I learned about walking 10,000 steps a day that I think you should know. Number one, if you don't have a treadmill, get you a walking pad. If you're a busy mom like me, you got stuff to do. It could be hard to fit those 10,000 steps a day in because it's going to take about an hour to 30 to hour and 45 minutes to get those 10,000 steps. Now, in a perfect world, I like to get my 10,000 steps first thing in the morning all at once. However, we all know mom's life is not always perfect, okay? So it helps to be able to just jump on a walking path, you know, while you're watching your favorite show or, you know, 15, 20 minutes at a time while the baby is asleep and taking a nap or whatever. The second thing that you need to know about walking 10,000 steps a day is that small goals really add up. Meaning those extra couple of hundred steps here or there while you're cleaning or when you park farther away from the door when you're going grocery shopping, those add up. So don't worry how you get your 10,000 steps a day in. Just get them in. And then the last thing that you need to know about walking 10,000 steps a day is that you probably should start slow. All right. For a lot of people. 10,000 steps a day is more than they've moved in a very long time. I know it was for me. I had fallen into a very sedentary lifestyle with work and with kids and with all the different responsibilities. So there's no shame in starting off slow. Start off with a goal of 2,500 steps, then 5,000, then 7,500, and then 10,000 steps. Especially if you have back pain and hip problems like I do, it might get a little bit worse before it gets better once you start walking those 10,000 steps. But in my experience, once I got into a routine of walking 10,000 steps a day, then a lot of my back pain and my issues with my hip disappeared. So much so that now it's really hard to quit on myself because after a couple of days of not getting those 10,000 steps in, then all of that stuff starts to come back. So I make sure that I'm very consistent now because I don't wanna be in pain. Let me know in the comments a couple of things that you've learned on your 10,000 steps a day journey. And as always, hit that follow button if you wanna walk with me.